Nicolette. Hey, man, how you doing from Minnesota? It's good to see you. Maybe not. Apparently you see us. But anyway, we just want to say congratulations on your retirement. That's a big deal, and welcome to the club. And also your birthday, as I understand. So, uh, well, retiring and uh, building that sports car, we're going to have to send us lots of pics. Yeah. So, we also scoured the Twin Cities for the perfect gift for you. A hot dog griller. There you go. I think that's the perfect retiree gift so your wieners are always hot. <laughs> so we will get you said grill uh, one way or the other. Yeah, there you go. So happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Uh, retirement. And uh, we'll talk soon, buddy. Talk to you soon. Yep. Right. See you. on the island of Kauai. Congratulations, Chris. We wish you all the best in your retirement from United Airlines. We hope to see you more as you can travel to Hawaii and come visit us, even on the island of Kauai. We look forward to seeing you and Renee. Congratulations, God bless. Happy retirement. Congratulations on a long career. It's time to do nine to five of doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Enjoy your seven day weekends. We hope to, uh, we're getting, my daughter's out, out in Denver there in Arvada. We hope to go see her sometime in the summer. I don't know exactly when it'll be, but because she's having a baby. So we'll go see the baby and then hopefully we can connect with you guys. Yeah, it'd be good to see you guys. So hopefully we'll get to see you this summer. Hi, Chris. Happy retirement. Happy retirement. things about you because my brother is picky so I know that you are smart hardworking and you probably like to play hard too I always look to my big brother to do the right thing he always knows what's right and he always finds a way to do it even when it's unpopular or hard to do here's just an example of that from when we were kids Chris was, well, he still is, a coin collector. But when we were kids, without a lot of distractions, that coin collection was everything to him. You know, he's always been a 110% kind of guy. Well, anyway, one year while we were on vacation, Chris found a bunch of coins, really old coins and, and religious medals. It was quite the haul for a coin collector. And an amazing discovery for a kid. And I know he wanted those coins. He wanted them. But you won't find them in his collection because he donated those coins to the local history museum because it was the right thing to do. And it's just one more reason why I'm proud of my big brother. Hey, Chris, enjoy your retirement. 
I can't wait to see what you do next. <laughs>